Look at this guy. He's practicing some Tai Chi. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, where are you going with this, John? Look at this. We're going to watch it again. And again. And maybe again. There he is. He's just practicing some Tai Chi. How many times do you think he's done that? We're going to talk about the book of Joshua today. Quickly. Look at that. Then, let's go back to some music. And you're like, okay, well, I don't get it. Tai Chi and Pink Floyd in the book of Joshua. You know, the issue is really simple. It's, we, um, it's what we practice is what we get good at. You know, whatever you're good at now, you've probably got some practice in it. Like whether you're an alcoholic or whether you're uh, a Tai Chi master, practice makes perfection. Um, and a lot of times we focus on the perfection, but we forget about just practicing and what are we practicing. And for me, I have a spiritual practice, and part of that involves, you know, good music. Part of it involves, uh, you know, reading good books, uh, hiking, yoga. Uh, all kinds of things are part of my practice. One thing, one thing that's part of my practice is simply reading scripture. And a lot of times people, they hear that, and they're like, oh my goodness, he's going to cover all this stuff. It's going to be forever, and it's judgmental, and he just, it's just so hard. And he's going to talk about John 15 again, it's going to be. And I'm like, nope. You know, one of the things that I like to do is just maybe pick a number that you're comfortable with, like five or ten, ten scriptures, and just read five or ten scriptures, you know, however you want to do it. So let's look at just some brief scriptures, and maybe we can get something out of it. And maybe we won't. So let's kind of practice it. Book of Joshua. Let's see what it says here. It says, this book has the uh, leading character Joshua, which is kind of one they named it Joshua. And then, uh, blah, 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 here we go. Ready? It's real interesting. Let's read it. It says, uh, after the death of Moses. So anyway, Moses died. Looks like some, but they're going to take a trip. We're going to kind of pick up uh, right here. It says, um, yeah, let's kind of pick up over here. I'm going to go with the number 10 scriptures. Let's see if we can read, say, 5 to 10 scriptures. It says, it says, Moses, my servant, is dead. So now arise, take this place, go over to Jordan. That's a good name. You know, if I ever have a son, I'm going to name him Jordan. It says, you, can, uh, you and all his people, and blah, blah, blah. It says, every place on this earth you, that your foot shall um, tread, tread, uh, you'll have it. And God's making some promises. So how do we achieve God's promises? It says, be strong and confident. And of good courage. That's real interesting. Be strong, confident, and of good courage, for you shall cause the people to inherit the land. He's talking to Joshua. But this is kind of good advice for anybody, whether your name is Joshua or Jordan, Jonathan, uh, Heidi. Um, you could be named Mandy, Maddie, uh, whatever your name is. It says, be strong, confident, and be, and be of good courage, for you shall cause uh, the people to inherit the land. Now notice how the it starts with being strong, but it notices, notice it says take courage, and it says courage will cause. So think cause effect, cause effect. So what can courage do for you? Let's read on. It says, and then he's like, he reminds them. It's like, hey, if you have courage, then you'll have the land that I swore. So the promise is there, but we achieve that through spiritual virtues like courage and humility, uh, love. A lot of times people focus on the law, but they forget the spiritual virtues. And it says, only you be strong. He's like talking again. He's like repeating himself. Only you be strong and very courageous. It's like We kind of got that. But sometimes God repeats himself. Sometimes God repeats himself. Sometimes God repeats himself. And he's saying that because he's reminding them, be of good courage, for courage is going to be the cause. And then he repeats himself and he says, only you be strong and very courageous. So if I were to talk to you, whether your name is Joshua or wherever you're at, whatever you're going through, you can say, okay, John, what? I gotta, you don't understand my problem. My problem is so complicated. My problem is so complicated. I'm like, your problem isn't complicated. Maybe you just need some courage. You're like, no, you don't get it, John. It's complication and stuff. And you're just being simplified and stuff. I mean, no, the, you know, Joshua says, only be strong and very courageous that you may do according to the law. It says, turn not or left from it. So what if, what if today, as an intention, I just chose I'm going to be courageous? Okay. Then it says, The book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, for you shall meditate a day or night, for then you shall make your way prosperous, and you shall deal wisely and have good courage. And I just notice it says, Be courage, be courageous, be strong. And then it says, what? Get into the Bible, learn the wisdom. And it says, For then you shall make your way prosperous, and then you shall deal wisely and have good success. 
You know, one thing that I noticed it here, it says, for then you shall make, and then it says, only you be strong and very courageous that you may do according. Notice that God is putting the emphasis on the leader. It says, why, why don't you focus on your internal power, bring that courage up, what happens? It says, for then you shall make your way prosperous. You shall deal wisely and have good success. I know. I think it's interesting that it says good success. Uh, not just success, but good success. And if you're an old man like me and you're 40, you kind of realize like there is, there's two types of success. There's success and there's good success. God, what do we got here? Hey, you. Hey, you. That's what I would say if I start this video again. But I'm not going to do some one takes. Hey, you. All right, I'm kind of in a Pink Floyd mode. All right, here we go. Hey, you. Be strong very courageous. And it says, um, I thought this is interesting. Let's go back here. So, you know, whether you like uh, the Bible or maybe that's you're uncomfortable with that, just be open a little bit and be open to other ideas. And notice that the Bible's been around for a long time, and God is helping Joshua to be what you and I want, which is prosperous, wise, and to have good success. Or maybe you don't care about success. Maybe you want a good relationship. Well, there's a difference between a relationship and a good relationship. So I would say, hey, hey you, find Joshua. And I think this is interesting here. Verse 9 says, Have I not commanded you, be strong, vigorous, and very... There he's repeating himself again. Be not afraid, fear not, neither be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. You know, I'll, you know, we just read about six or seven scriptures, and there's something there for somebody somewhere, everywhere. You know, who doesn't need more prosperity? Who doesn't need more wisdom? Who doesn't need good success? Well, let's look at what's the repeating factor. It says, be courageous, be courageous. And then he's like, be very courageous, only be very courageous. I mean, come on, guys. Sometimes God repeats himself. Let me show you another time that God repeats himself. I mean, we kind of suck if I couldn't find it. Check this out. Book of Hebrews. Hey, you. You don't like the Old Testament? You know, I grew up in a church. I didn't even like the Old Testament. So let's go to a New Testament thing. Hey, you. I got some advice for you. Chapter 13. Let love. I won't even talk about love right now. Today, I guess, is about courage. But let love. I think it's interesting that it says let love. Almost like it's like this organic living thing. Like let love. Like whatever's going on, just, just let love. You know, that, maybe that is something you need. Remember I talked about God repeating himself? This is for God himself says, I will not in any way fail you nor give you up nor leave you without support. I will not, I will not, I will not uh, to any degree leave you helpless or forsake you nor even relax my hand on you. Assuredly not. We got a four repeater right there. And then he's referencing the book of Joshua. I don't know where you're at. I don't know what you're going through. Just remember, find 10 scriptures, meditate on it. Hebrews 13. Joshua. Hey, you. You guys have a great day.